Hi, I'm Chris Pollock. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a topper for a Strat pickup using Keith McKenzie's, or rather my version of Keith McKenzie's panograph or duplicator, whatever you want to call it. Um, and well, I'll show you the panograph a little bit and then I'll show you how I, how I make the toppers. Here's the panograph or the duplicator. Um, it can be, I, I show a little bit closer of Keith's in another video that I have, but basically it's a it's a duplicator. Uh, this is separated. They raise. Um, there's the pin or the stylus goes into this. Uh, these are little uh, mini hand hand drills. Um, this is a, a mini die grinder that does the cutting and it's built with drawer slides for your uh, X and Y. This is just the uh, little hand drills. This is another one for smaller size bits. Uh, these are good because you can get a drill bit of your corresponding size uh, mill bit that you'll have in your cutter and you can just put them up inside to get the right uh, guide pin. And that's a little bit of a close up of the air uh, mini grinder, die grinder. Um, this is a, a SUS uh, and I also made a little mechanism, a stop for it. Uh, this tightens and it also can make it like a little bit of a plunge. You'll see how I use that later. Just pull it up and lock it in. For my topper as the template guide, I use I'm using a, a the flatware from the top of a pickup kit. Um, if you wind your own pickup, then you'll be familiar with this. But that's the top, and that's what I'll be using as my template, where the pin will I'll go down and use that as my guide. Um, the, the one thing about this is that the the flatware isn't large enough for the outside to cover. You want the topper to cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm using an eighth inch pin with an eighth inch mill in the die grinder. And I'll, I'll cut the holes out with that. And then I'm going to switch the size of the eighth inch mill that's in the cutter to a... 62 thousandths or 16th, uh, 625 um, mil, and that way it'll give me a, approximately a 16th of an inch more around the, uh, the, the flatware so it'll make it larger. So what I'll do first is I'll take this and I'll, design, I'll move it into one of the holes and I'll place it down. And then I'm going to start the, the die grinder and plunge it in and then I'm going to route the hole out. And then I'll lift it and move it over to the next hole and do that hole and do the series down the hole. Now that I cut the last hole, I'll change this bit out. I'll raise it. And I'll change it out to a 625. 
I'll set my depth to cut through. I'll loosen my my stop that I made here. And there you go. Now I, I won't need this stop right now, so I just I just set the depth. Well, in fact, I'm going to do is to make a couple passes on this. So I'll set it for about halfway. And uh, and then I'll cut the outside. It's like I mentioned, being that this is an eighth inch. Well, actually, this this one here is actually a drill bit that's a little bit more than an, an eighth inch. But the difference between these two, when I run it there, it's like it's like using a collar on a router. So it'll it'll make the cut bigger than this around, so that I'll I'll get a more an overhang over the flatware, which I which I want. Um, and then I, what I'll do is I won't use a stop, and I'll just I'll bring the cutter down with the pivot. But I'll pivot from the outside part and go into the work. Because if I were to go up to the work and pivot down, the the angle, this is thick enough that the angle would, would put a little divot in there. So I'll, I'll, I'll start from the outside and, and work into the piece and then around. And then go back out before I lift, and lift this out. It's going to get a little loud. I'll make two passes. This will be the second pass. You can hear the air compression kicks on. These do take grinders take a lot of damage. And this is also I have this held down with two-sided tape onto my backer board. Same with the uh, flatware. It's held down with. There's your topper. So now I'll just sand the edges, clean it up.
you just simply take that by hand and just do a little bevel edge if you want. And just refine it, and there you have it. It's a there's your topper or your pickup, your strap pickup. So there you can see it's larger, so it'll cover the flatware, overhang a little bit. If you want to make it even wider, then you could either uh, up the size of this a little more. Or use a smaller bit if you wanted to get like a 32nd and cut it around. Yeah, that would work also. Also, you could get you could enlarge one of these to get it to where you to where how big you want it, and then use this as the template instead of the flatware. So. And there you give you an idea how you could use it to custom make your toppers. Also the the cavity covers was made out of ebony on the duplicator also. Same principle. Thanks for watching.